Before your technical drawings, your specifications, your 3D models, or before any work gets done, the first step is to actually present your client's mood boards. Mood boards are like your North Star. They align the clients, they align the contractors, the consultants, and yourself to the project. You have to know where you're going before you map out all of the nitty gritty details. In this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the five steps to make designer ready mood boards. These mood boards are meant to entice your clients and once again, align the project. So keep on watching if you want to learn more. Hi everyone, my name is Daniela and I'm an interior designer based in Toronto. However, I take on interior design projects all around the world. So I'm actually traveling right now. Anyhow, if this video isn't about me, it's actually about mood boards and how you can create mood boards very, very easily and seamlessly. When you're creating mood boards, you want it to be easy. You're pasting different photos from everywhere. You want to create spec sheets. You want to create FF and E specification tables, and you want it to be all streamlined. You don't want to take hours on hours on ends to create all of these different sheets. So luckily there's a tool such as rayon design that can make everything very, very easy. And we're going to be getting into that today on how we can create these mood boards and how we can work efficiently as designers. So take a look at the description and download the template with the URL. And I want to make note that rayon makes it very, very easy to present your mood boards with URL links, which I'll show you how to do in this video. So enough talking, let's get into the video. I have my drawing sets open and I hope that you have it open on your end as well. This is a very typical drawing set that you can create in Rayon. And I actually just want to go through the different layers of this drawing package. So we're going to click here on layers. And as you can see, we have a presentation canvas, we have floor plans and sections, we have millwork drawings, and we have kitchen drawing and mood board. This is going to be the focus of our video today. And like I said, we're going to be going through this five step process and we're actually going to be starting backwards to shake things up a little bit. Okay, so starting at step five, Step five is actually to define the mood and purpose. And I have Google open right now because I'm going to browse through some mood boards while I talk. So the first type of mood board I recommend you show to your clients is actually a conceptual mood board. This means that you're starting off the project showing some textures, some colors, maybe some decorative pieces. You aren't showing specifically sourced items. You're really just trying to get the design intent. And secondly, once your client has given you the okay on that mood board, I would recommend that is when you create a project specific collage. So that is when you've done the design work, you've done the legwork, and you have a specific chair that you want in this project. You have a specific fabric etc. You're showing them actual things that you want them to buy. So when we're looking through Google, we see that a lot of these mood boards are kind of cluttered, messy. I mean, you know, not trying to be too much of a critic. Some look okay, but overall, it seems as if most of these mood boards aren't hitting the mark in my books at least. So let's jump on over to Rayon and I'll talk a little bit more about these two different mood board types. All right, so I'm back in Rayon and I wanna show you the two different types of mood boards that I just spoke about. And my mood board here might look a little bit different than yours because I've actually went ahead and customized this mood board. So this is the conceptual mood board. And as you can see, we have some inspiration photos and I went ahead and added some playful pops of the material, of the colors, 
And in this template, we've actually added some elements so you can drag and drop and customize these mood boards if you'd like to practice. So as you can see within this mood board, you get a sense of style and you get a sense of direction. So let's move on to the second mood board and let's take a look at it. And already you can see with this project specific collage, there's a lot more detail to it. And once again, I've went ahead and I've customized mine a little bit further. So you can see we have a specific stool. I even added a little paint color blob. I've even added an accent color. I'm suggesting we add in a little bit of navy and I'm suggesting the way that we place it in the room, maybe through accents. I added a little bit of a plant here just to suggest that once again, that is the way that I will be decorating this space for the final touch. And as you can see, we have mixed metals in this space. We have our backsplash. We have suggestions for the different materials. And you can go ahead and label everything if you'd like or you can leave your mood boards a little more clean and all of the labels and information would come on the spec sheet. So you'll have to use your own discretion and you'll have to see how minimal or how busy you would like your mood boards. And that again might tie into your branding, it might tie into how many elements you are showing to your clients. So there's customization to mood boards and the point is, is that you can create different types of mood boards using rayon design and you can customize it to your liking. So let's talk about step four and let's take it a step back. And step four is collect and curate visuals with intention. So when it comes to mood boards, you might think that you're just supposed to paste everything that you like and see. And that's not the case because it can cause a lot of confusion. And the last thing you want are confused clients. So if we're looking back at these mood boards, you really want to be very intentional with the photos that you choose. I say keep it maximum to three inspiration photos. And when it comes to adding products, you want to make sure that you're linking the products as you go. Things can get lost later and that's sort of a nightmare to try and find something that you sourced long ago. So you want to be very intentional and what you can do is you can place all your images and elements here like Rayon has done for you and you can play around and drag and drop, delete, switch up things. So use this as your whiteboard. Another cool thing is that you can actually copy and paste images from Pinterest or Google, and I'm actually gonna show you how you can do that right now. So we're in my Pinterest. Hello everyone, yes, I am always on Pinterest. And let's search something and copy and paste. So this looks nice to me. All we have to do is double click press copy image, and I'm going to pop over back to Rayon and paste it. So I'm back in Rayon and let's replace this photo. So I've selected this one. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to press paste. And as you can see, my Pinterest photo has loaded. So as you can see, I brought this new photo in and I can make edits to it. I can obviously change the orientation, the size, and I can even edit it further in Rayon's AI editor. So I could remove the background if I wanted to do that. So this is very helpful for items. So when I brought in the La Crusette, I removed the background so it's nice and clean. So as you just saw, it's very easy to import images. You can remove the background with their AI tool and you can create clean and concise mood boards all with one tool. So now we're moving on to step three, which is put your mood board in context and leverage it for F, F and E. So mood boards can feel a little disconnected at times, but to truly communicate how your design is going to come to life, you need to put your mood boards along 
architectural drawing sets in your presentation. And with Rayon, as you've seen, you can have all your drawings in one place. So this means that you have your floor plans, your cabinetry details, your layouts, your furniture plans, everything all in one. So your clients can really see the mood board and they can see how it's going to translate into an actual design and not necessarily random inspiration photos. And here is a tip when it comes to interior design. Do not assume that everyone is on the same page. If I've learned anything in my career, it's that you can never assume. Even when you are clear as day, never assume. So you have to be extremely detailed and extremely clear. So how do you gain this clarity on a project? Well, I recommend to create room specific item mood boards for each space. And another thing that you can do is link top view furniture symbols in your plan to its real life image materials, as you can see here. Adding these images now will also save you over time when you're building your ff &E schedules and your spec sheets. And if you need more help with that, check out Rayon, our tutorials. We have a lot of different tutorials for how to streamline this process and create your ff &E schedules and spec sheet very easily and efficiently. Moving on to step two, which is make it collaborative. And one of my favorite things about Rayon is that it's web-based and it's so easy to collaborate with different members on your team, your clients, the consultants. Trust me, you don't want to work on a software that's not web-based and collaborative because it's going to be a nightmare to try and talk about every each little element. So I'm going to show you how you can share this drawing package with different people and how you can actually add a comment. So we're going to pop and click share. And I'm going to add someone from the Rayon team, which is Shira. You've probably seen her here on the YouTube channel. So I have her there and I can add her and I can invite. I can even change her role if I want her as an admin, if I just want her to view, whatever I would so please. And I'm going to add a comment here. Because like I said, your clients especially, they're going to probably be commenting on every single thing. So let's go into the chat box here. And sometimes when I present things to my clients, I sort of like to brief them beforehand. So meaning I know that certain elements might bring up a question. So in this design, they might be like, oh, navy blue. I thought we were thinking green or yellow. So maybe I want to write a comment for my client to read before, you know, they come back to me with a huff and a puff. Okay, so I typed out, hey Jim, I thought blue would work better as the accents. It's very rich and on trend. So I posted that there and as you can see, this little chat bubble comes in and Jim could come and respond. And hopefully he's happy with my, you know, new design intent. But anyhow, as you can see, it keeps everything clear, organized. You're able to share with your team, with other members, and you're able to keep communication where it's relevant and not have a million email threads and not have to resend drawings a million times. This is just a lifesaver. So we've made it to step number one, which is actually to reuse and systematize. And I'm here on this open templates here. What I really want to tell you is that when you're creating all of these different presentations for your different clients, you need to have templates already set in place. You can't be starting from scratch each time and creating borders and figuring out your fonts. That's just going to be a total waste of time. You need to create your own set templates or you can make it easier and just use the free templates that Rayon has for you so that you can chop your design time in half. And you really need to go beyond mood board templates. You need a software that systematizes everything. So what this means is that there's available blocks and Rayon has an amazing block library of over 10,000 blocks. You need a system that is able to stylize all of your drawings to your branding 
and you need a clever software that's able to change different things in your drawing with a few clicks of a button. You can do all of that with Rayon as you've seen. So once you've created your own custom templates, or maybe you've taken a Rayon template and you've customized it yourself, you can actually save it as a template. So we're going to go back in the share button and we're going to go in templates. And as you can see, you can toggle this on and it's going to save as a template. You can even share this as a presentation and you can copy this and you can send it to your clientele if that's your preferred method of communication with them. So as you've seen, everything that you need to make mood boards is in with one software. It's easy, it's fast, and that's what you need. You don't want to get frustrated in this process. It's supposed to be efficient and it's supposed to be fun. And that's it for this video. You've just learned how to make professional mood boards that actually move the project forward. You're able to collaborate on these mood boards and you're able to make changes very, very easily, all within Rayon Design. So whether you're designing a cozy living room, an expansive kitchen, a full home, or who knows, even an exterior project, you can use Rayon Design to make a very impactful mood board. So take a look at the description and download Rayon Design. They have a free tier, which you can try, and they also have access to many, many different templates, which I know you'll find very helpful. And if you like this video, give it a like and leave us a comment down below. What would you like to see next? So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.